This week's a little bit different. I'm actually going to show a portion of one of the live Q&A sessions I had over at uh, Lauren Hollins. This was actually from back in April. And I was reminded about this because I was just looking at some of the issue lists in the GitHub repository for the Hollow Toolkit, or now as it's called, the Mixed Reality Toolkit. And um, someone asked a question uh, that was also brought up in my live Q&A with my members back in April. And it reminded me that I never went and um, created this issue myself. So I should have done this a while back. I did not. Of course, I think I was planning on going back and figuring out exactly the rest, the best way to solve it. And I really didn't spend time doing that. And so I kind of feel bad that I, you know, let the open source community down a little bit of actually finding a bug and not, you know, not putting it out there. Uh, but when I saw it, I decided to go ahead and at least add my two cents that, yes, this is an issue and put a little uh, comment there on GitHub. But I just want to go ahead and um, take a clip out of that live Q&A that we had in the membership, uh, put it here publicly on YouTube, and then I'm also going to link to that in the GitHub uh, issue as well, just so folks will see it. So again, a little bit different uh, this week, uh, but hopefully it will be beneficial, especially if you're fooling with the Mixed Reality Toolkit and trying to get the pop-up uh, buttons and things to work correctly. So the third question, third question is how to reshow pop-up menus after closing the pop-up menu. So this is in reference to uh, the gaze and gesture masterclass uh, that I did in December. And um, so I thought, well, it should just work. What's the problem? Why isn't that working? So what I did, um, and this question actually came from Leo. I, uh, so I was using the latest hollow toolkit and... I tried it, and sure enough, it happened. So let me let me just kind of show you here uh, what I mean. So uh, this was right now. I just made this thing called pop-up test in case I need to modify it. But uh, this is really under the Hollow Toolkit uh, examples. Actually, it's under Hollow Toolkit test, I believe. Hollow Toolkit test and um, scenes and input manager test. So that's really what what's being opened here. Um, it's the same thing. I just simply opened that scene and saved it as pop-up test. But if I hit play here inside of Unity um, and start browsing around, and I will tap on the cylinder. And again, in that master class, the gaze and gesture master class, I talk a lot about uh, this, this example and what's going on here. But the question is, hey, I, I get the pop-up, and it comes up, and I can close it. But then when I go to open up again, it doesn't open up. And it's like, huh. Well, how about that? It doesn't open up anymore. Well, what's up with that? When did that break? Um, so I actually spent quite a bit of time trying to figure out what happened um, because I made that master class. It was December. All right, so uh, let's try this again. Unfortunately, those who uh, were watching this live, eh, it's where the video ended. <laughs> and I tried to get going again. And it crashed again. So instead of uh, fighting with that, I figured I'd just finish it off offline and uh, get it uploaded so that everybody can see it. So again, for folks who are watching live, I do apologize that uh, that it crashed. So either way, um, yeah. So what we just saw was that the pop-up window at the latest version of the toolkit was not working. So we hit that again and it won't open up. So once you close it, it won't open up at the next time. All right. So again, this actually took me quite a while uh, to resolve. Um, so I created the gaze and gesture masterclass. That was in mid-December. Um, so I was using the Hall toolkit uh, from the December 9th. And so I just uh, looked at the Git uh, repository and so December 9th, because I think it's around December 15th or so, um, is when I actually made that master class. It was sometime in that range. But I determined it was December 9th is, was the version of the Hall Toolkit that I was using. So when I was trying to debug this, just as, you know, to maybe help out uh, folks who are trying to debug things like this in the future, uh, what I actually did was I just grabbed a month, um, a month out. So I actually came up here to, it was like I'm about three behind right now just from yesterday. 
But so I just came down here to somewhere in March and said, okay, well, let me just grab um, like the latest version here on the 9th that was on the master, right? And I said, hey, uh, reset current branch to this commit. And I just basically checked out all the files at that point, in that point in time. And it didn't work either. So I tried to like further down, like in February, it didn't work. So I was like, hmm. So I went all the way back to like December the 5th, no, let's see, when was it? Yeah, December the 19th. So I came all the way down to here and it didn't work. And I thought, well, am I going crazy? So I came all the way down here to the one I thought I was running, which was the 9th. And sure enough, it actually worked. And I thought, okay, well, what changed between the 9th and, uh, and the one I grabbed up here was like the 19th, okay? And I determined it was the 15th. In fact, it was this guy right here, dehydration deactivation, which you wouldn't think would have that big of a uh, deal. But as it turns out, the change was on state exit. They changed that from on state enter to on state exit. So if we come over here to uh, dehydration, not just change this, to enter and hit save then when we uh, come back over here to unity let it compile I'll hit play and just by making that one change this will now work so I tap on it I can close and it what wasn't working I could tap it on again it wasn't opening but now you see it is so there's the root problem Okay, so the root problem in order to fix that is you just need to change on state exit to on state enter. And again, this was changed back uh, by Stephen, who's done a whole lot of work on the Hall Toolkit. Um, but it was changed by him. And the purpose for the change was to make sure that the animation finished uh, before turning the game object off. Um, so that's, that's the issue. And my guess is that... Um, I don't quite understand. I haven't gone through to figure out exactly you know why that's the case. I just know that that is the root cause. Obviously, something else is is interacting with that, causing that problem. So, depending on what you're after, uh, that's why that is no longer working. And uh, to me, uh, an issue should be raised in GitHub um, so we can actually get that you know fixed the right way. It might be that the true fix is simply just changing on state exit, on state enter. Uh, but then that would probably, you know, break the animation. So the animation is going to stop beforehand. So, um, yeah, so that's kind of where I'm going to leave that. That was um, the issue with the pop-up menu uh, not being able to be reopened. So it was a bug that that was introduced into the Hall of Toolkit shortly after that uh, master class was created in December. So I appreciate you uh, bringing that up, and I was able to address it here. And so if you're interested in master classes and live Q&As, I do every single month. Been doing them for a year now uh, from September. And here we are going to jump into September again. It's crazy. But every single month I have a master class and a follow-up live Q&A where I answer questions about the Holo Toolkit, about the Holo Lens, about Unity. Um, so, yeah, if that interests you, definitely head on over to learnhololens.com and uh, sign up. Uh, to be on the notification list, and you'll be notified as soon as the doors open. Um, but in general, make sure you're contributing to open source. It helps everybody out. Hope you have a fantastic week, and I'll see you in the next video.